Hello everyone. Welcome to Vector in Motion. Today I am going to analyze this truss using the method of joints. In the previous video we learned about the rules for identifying zero force members in a truss and I would be using that knowledge in simplifying the truss before carrying out any equilibrium analysis and doing computation. So the first step is to draw a free body diagram of the entire truss to compute the reaction forces at pins G and H. The roller support at G gets replaced by a vertical force GY and a pin support at H gets replaced by a horizontal component of a force HX and a vertical component HY. So first we have to determine these three reaction forces. Summing the forces in X direction gives us HX equal to 0. This component is 0. Next we take the moment of all the forces about point G and the force 48 kilonewton acting at A has a moment of 48 times 12. 12 meter is the distance between A and F plus HY times 4 and that gives us HY equal to minus 144 kilonewtons that is HY is in downward direction and summing the forces in Y direction gives GY equal to 192 kilonewtons. And now the second step is to identify zero force members in this truss so that it gets simplified. Let us consider joint C. Members AC and CE are collinear. Member BC is not collinear. There is no force on joint C. Therefore, member BC is a zero force member. Put a cross mark here. And now let us consider joint B. Members AB and BD are collinear. BE is non collinear. We can ignore the member BC because we just found out that it is a zero force member. So, in all, there are three members at joint B, out of which BE is non collinear, no force acting on B, and therefore member BE is a zero force member. Next, we consider joint E. The members CE and EG are collinear. The non collinear member is DE, no force acting on E. Therefore, member DE is a zero force member. And next, we consider joint D. BD and DF are collinear members. This member can be ignored. And the third member is DG, which will be a zero force member a cross mark here and next we consider joint F. These two are collinear members. FG is non collinear. There is no force on F. Therefore, FG also is a zero force member. So, in totality there are five zero force members and what we are left is a top row AB, BD, DF, GH and a bottom row of members from A to G and GH. So the truss gets quite simplified and we'll get a solution pretty fast. And now we shall do equilibrium analysis of joint A. ABD of joint A will look like this. The internal forces in members AB and AC are shown here by FAB and FAC. Can you tell me why these forces are pointing away from the pin? Well, it is because we have assumed that all the members are in tension to begin with. And in case we get an answer which is negative for any of these forces, that would mean that our assumption is incorrect and the actual force in the member is compressive. Because these forces are concurrent, we just have two equations of equilibrium, sigma fx equal to 0 and sigma fy equal to 0. So let us first apply sigma fy equal to 0 
and that gives us minus 48 minus FAC times 4.5 upon 12.8 equal to 0. The slope of this force is 4.5 upon 12. Take a look at the line AG. The vertical drop is 4.5 and this distance is 12 meters. The slope is 4.5 upon 12. The hypotenuse of this right angle triangle will be 12.8 and therefore we have FAC times 4.5 divided by 12.8. And this will give us FAC equal to minus 136 point five kilo newtons or one thirty six point five kilo newtons and we can write C to indicate that it's a compressive force and let us do summation in x direction and that gives us FAB plus FAC times 12 upon 12.8 equal to 0 This will be minus FAC times 12 upon 12.8 and we substitute this value, this value here for FAC and because it's a negative it will become positive. So it will be 136.5 kilonewtons 12 upon 12.8. And this will work out to 128 kilonewtons. Because it's positive, that means it's a tensile force. And we write T here. When we did equilibrium analysis of joint C, we found that member BC is a zero force member. And that also indicates that the force in AC will also be equal to the force in member CE. So CE will also have a compressive force of 136.5 kilonewtons and the same argument holds good for the member EG which also would be having an internal force of 136.5 kilonewton compressive. And if we implement the same argument for joints B, D and F, we will arrive at a conclusion that the internal force in AB will be same as what it is in BD, DF and FH. That is, it will be equal to 128 kilonewtons. So, now we know the internal forces in all the four members on the top row. They are tensile and equal to 128 kilonewtons and the members, the three members AC, CE and EG have compressive force of 136.5 kilonewtons. So let us now do equilibrium analysis of joint H so that we can find out the internal force in member GH, right? Here is the ABD of pin H. HY is in fact minus 144, so it is pointing downwards, shown here. Since the member FH has got tension of 128 kilonewton, it is pointing away from the pin, and we do not know the force, internal force in this member, and we assume that it is in tension, therefore, it is pointing away from the pin H. The slope of this line is 
4.5 upon 4 and therefore the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle is 6 and now we write the equilibrium equation in y direction and that will be equal to minus 144 minus f h g times 4.5 divided by 6 equal to 0 and that will give us f h g So, if the answer is a negative, it means this force is 192.67 kilonewtons and it's compressive. So, the member HG has a compressive force of 192.67. These members AC, CE, EG have compressive force of 136.5 kilonewtons and the members in the top row four of them have a tension force of 128 kilonewtons and these five members are zero force members so that completes the force calculation of all the members of the truss and we are done i hope you find this video useful and in case you have liked it please give your thumbs up share it with your friends and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe thanks for watching and see you in the next video